ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ of living this four principles please understand listen i request all of you to come to the space of listening the collective responsibility when you feel you are responsible for the whole group you become part of collective responsible team listen whenever you think each one is responsible for their life i am responsible for mine you will not experience collective responsibility in others life and you will not have the benefit of collective responsibility you will neither understand what is collective responsibility get it i'll expand on this concept of collective responsibility from various dimensions understand in teamwork the word collective responsibility means everyone has to be responsible in the cosmos the word collective responsibility means the whole is responsible get this word rightly listen come to the space of listening when you think everyone is responsible i tell you no one will be responsible when you think you are responsible for everyone's responsibility everyone will respond with so much of responsibility i tell you i go to the step further and i tell you you don't even need to work even if you just cognize you are responsible things happen even if you cognize you are responsible the cognition of responsibility rules life most of the time i only cognize my responsibility nothing else need to be done simply things happen i give you one of the important secret today even when somebody comes to me for healing or expecting some miraculous support help whether in the health or the family business or a job or a profession some field when they expect me to intervene intervene the divine intervention and cause a miracle i tell you i do only one thing i do not do any japa or mantra or meditation or create a space nothing i just feel i am responsible for him that's all immediately i see the responsibility cognition opens a door cosmic energy just enters him supports causes the miracle makes the divine intervention happen when you feel you are responsible the divine intervention 
the divine intervention miracles when you decide you are responsible the very cognition that you are responsible makes society the whole society to stand by you the whole society to live by you not just human society i tell you all the extraordinary powers of the cosmos supports you people ask how to see if we are authentically feeling responsibility how do we differentiate that with inauthenticity and laziness of just feeling and not doing listen don't carry so much of self doubt even if you start with inauthentic lazy only feeling responsible but not doing anything that feeling cannot go as a dead idea in your brain any feeling any thought will not be dead any feeling any idea will not be dead please listen even for the sake of faking if you just every day tell i'll be integrated i'll be integrated i'll be integrated i declare from this moment completion i declare i'll be in integrity from today even if you do it for faking you do not know the power of these words you will see in a month or two the whole dhyan se suniye the whole your whole being supports you and the cosmos supports you your whole being supports you and the cosmos supports you so even for the sake of to fake it even for that purpose if you start living if you start thinking if you start feeling if you start cognizing responsibility i tell you you need to know one thing it is not that your whole personality is broken pieces there is a bit in your control if you are a 100 unit maybe 60 unit is broken to 5 unit 10 unit 20 unit like that but at least 20 to 30 unit is in your hand when you cognize responsibility that 20 unit will start becoming responsible much of your part may be very disintegrated in a different 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 way but even that integrated part when that cognizes responsibility you will see that part will start taking over your whole being so even cognizing responsibility deciding i will operate from the space i am responsible itself is a great awakening fulfillment completion why we don't feel responsible it is incompletions 
constantly makes you feel irresponsible first desire to move towards completion desire to move towards completion it is your incompletion that is responsible for you not feeling responsible if you start becoming responsible incompletion will be healed become complete when you start completing with all the incompletions you will become responsible it is like a vicious circle you carry so much of incompletions within you and with others you are nothing but bunch of incompletions if you carry so much of incompletions with others you will never feel you are responsible for them because you feeling you are responsible for them will come only when you have a deep love for them when you have completion with them i tell you all my training happens because i feel complete with all of them i feel responsible for them the human beings when you carry incompletions with your subordinates employees boss you will never be able to take collective responsibility unless you feel complete listen unless you feel complete you are not going to neither feel responsible for you nor feel responsible for others first thing every individual should do is finding your root pattern and completing with you and completing with all the people who are involved in your life bringing a completion when you complete with you when you complete with others when you complete with the whole family suddenly you will feel only when you take responsibility for others you can even take responsibility for you when you can't take responsibility for others you can't even take responsibility for you i tell you others are more closer to you than many fragmented parts of you for example you want to make something happen if you take responsibility for others it is easy for you to convince them and make that done then convincing all parts of you and get that done so most of the time you trying to take the responsibility just for yourself without taking the responsibility for others only leads to deeper and deeper discontentment and deeper and deeper suffering and deeper and deeper emptiness and incompletion why do you think people are so interested feel teaching to others preaching to others is so easy then preaching to themselves because taking responsibility for others is easy than taking responsibility for yourself others are more closer to you than you you have gone too much away from you i tell you start doing the things easy first when it comes to these four tattvas start preaching first then you will be able to practice easily start talking to people first discuss 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 i tell you 
Patanjali says, Yogasya Pradamam Dwaram Vangnirotaha. The first step in the yoga is reduction in the speech. I tell you, with my own authority, in practicing these four tattvas, first step is discussing, 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 endlessly discussing about these four tattvas with others. Yes, reduction in the speech will come when the reduction in the thought happens. But the reduction in the thought will come only after the integrity is practiced. Integrity will be practiced only after you start understand, listen only after you start discussing, discussing, discussing continuously discuss with others about these four tattvas it will become reality in you I tell you start taking the responsibility start taking the responsibility continuously discuss with everyone about these four tattvas you will see you will see you are just able to elevate people and you are able to elevate you when you teach others only then many corners deep corners of you starts listening to you when you take responsibility for others only then the unknown parts of you you start taking responsibility for it your adamant son is nothing but adamant part of your ego your arrogant brother is nothing but the arrogant cognition you carry in you your controlling father is nothing but your controlling incompletions you carry your controlling mother is nothing but the controlling addictions you carry inside so everyone outside is nothing but the parts of you inside when you can take responsibility for them only then you can take responsibility for you completely when you can't take responsibility for them I tell you you can't convince that part of you in you <laughs> take the responsibility every character you see outside however complicated they may be they are nothing but the reflection of some parts of you the enlightened being you see outside is the superconscious space of you inside if you don't have that dimension in you even if you see an enlightened being you will not recognize him you will only see the gold he is wearing not the golden being he is carrying People who don't listen to you outside, your subordinates, your workers, people working with you are nothing but the reflection of your deep laziness and boredom you carry inside. If you can't take the responsibility for the non-listeners, you won't take the responsibility for the boredom you have inside. I tell you, people who take responsibility for those who don't listen to them outside will never fall prey to the boredom which is inside. I have always seen in my ashram the swamis who don't take responsibility for their subordinates who don't listen to them they will carry so much of boredom in their life tiredness and laziness in their life because non-listeners outside are nothing but reflection of your own boredom and tiredness every conflict you face outside is a reflection of a conflict which is inside every powerlessness you face outside 
is nothing but the contradiction, conflict which is residing inside. Anything you see outside, understand, there is some part of you inside about which you need to take the responsibility. You are eternally contradicting, conflicting. Spouse is nothing but the reflection of your eternal conflict between the head and the heart. Your controlling mother-in-law is nothing but the reflection of your controlling addictive patterns you carry inside. If you can't take the responsibility for your controlling mother-in-law, you can't take the responsibility for your controlling addictive patterns and solve it. Feeling powerless in front of your mother-in-law and feeling powerless in front of your controlling addictive patterns are one and the same. One and the same. When you look, you will understand. Continuously complete with all the patterns you are carrying. Whether it is addictive patterns inside, or contradicting, conflicting patterns inside, or the conflicts, powerlessness you feel outside. Inside or outside, go on solving, 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 completing, 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 completing with everything, complete with everything. I tell you, completing with everything will make you feel responsible for your inside and outside. When you feel responsible for others, that is when the collective responsibility starts. Listen, only when you feel responsible for everyone, the space of collective responsibility starts around you. Listen, when you are ready to take the responsibility, even for the flowing river, you will be able to take the responsibility for the blood flow in you. If you are ready to take the responsibility for the nature outside, there will be nothing uncontrollable inside for you. You will be able to take the responsibility for all the extraordinary powers inside. It is integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching. All the four put together is called Samyama. Samyama is the tool, weapon to harvest extraordinary powers. This Guru Purnima we will be launching, we are inaugurating a Samyama hospital in Bidhi.